how to add a banner slideshow in Squarespace. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make some slideshows or banner slideshows and add them to your Squarespace website. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to squarespace.com then you need to sign in into your account. So as you can see here, we have our account signed up. We are going simply to visit the account dashboard. So a little disclaimer, guys, everything created in this video, such as email addresses, accounts, are created only for the sake of the video and not for any personal uses. So you are going to see here the uh, admin dashboard or the site dashboard. We are going to select from these websites our uh, fully working and functional website. So we're going to click on this one so now we have technically uh, load up the website we're going to see all of the components that are composing our website so right now if we want to add the banner slideshow we need to select a page and as you know the website has multiple pages and not only one page so this is the home page we are going to see everything set up here if you want to navigate through the pages, we are going to head over the left menu, which is the control panel of our website. And we are going to select here a page from the pages. So we are going to see here all of the pages that we have. We have the home page that is here and etc. So maybe we are going to add the, the banner slideshow to one of the pages. So here we have the shop. We're going to see here the shop if we want to add the slideshow to the shop. So we are going simply to click on edit here at the top and then go ahead and see if we can add a section. So I don't think that we can add a section between the products. So we can add it either here above the uh, header or above the shop, as you can see. So we are going to be satisfied with added it here above the products so then we are going simply to see what do we have so i'm going to add maybe a blank section and then we are going simply to see if we can have some uh, thing other than that we're going to see here what do we have in the portfolios for the images so we are going to see here maybe we are going to get some sliders and this is a slider this is a uh, right there and this is also another one so we are going to select here one of those and here we have the banner slider so this selection will quickly add content items between layouts so we are going to uh, try this one we're going to add it so as you can see here we have added the slideshow and it is uh, the full screen you can go ahead and see that we have all of the uh, images right there now if you want to modify the images you're going to click on edit gallery and then you can add whatever images that you want for example we're going to add this one and also you can go ahead and link them if you want and add a little description about the image. So I will go ahead and leave the section like that. And now how we can make this slideshow uh, playable or it will be automatically uh, played. So we are going simply to click on edit section and then we are going to see the gallery. So we have here the uh, slideshow as you can see we have for the gallery type we have the simple one the full one or the real one i'm going simply to uh, choose one of these and then we're going to see the one that will have the autoplay on it so for this one which is the simplest one we're going to see here that the autoplay is here so you can set up the duration like that and apply it directly so we can add a thumbnail we can set up here the width and the height of the uh, banner right there so as you can see everything is working and it is auto playing so 
uh, for the animation you can go ahead and add an animation for example a fading animation vertical panel horizontal panel scale up and down and etc so maybe we have here the fading you can also add a divider for example like that but this is not something that i want to add so here we have it now for the colors you can go ahead and modify the color or the background color of this specific area so that was the first uh, section that we can add or you can go ahead and add another section and select the images and then you're going to see the most convenient one for you for example this one so this is bigger than that so you can go ahead and view the layout and also you can go ahead and modify it right there so here we have it now we are going to click on edit section but unfortunately this will not uh here set up the images so maybe you are going to select multiple images this it, it could not be adding uh, more than one image so this is not something that we want to add this is not a slider so this is the definition of a slider and also you can not go ahead and stick with this one only the stock the slider one so we can get in uh, here some help from elf site which is a widget creator and that widget creator will help you create for example a banner slideshow right there by seeing here the widgets for example we are going to see here some images or some photo gallery so logo showcase you're going to get for example a logo showcase a photo gallery or something like that so i'm going to let you see here the logo showcase it will go ahead and add a slider like this one like that to your store so i have already added one so you are going to see it right here i'm going to click on edit and make this logo slider or showcase as a banner showcase or slider like that so you are going simply to add the images or the logos you can control here the width and the height of them by clicking on the layout turn up the logo size for example like that uh, augmenting or decreasing the spacing uh, and then you're going to configure the style for the fonts the backgrounds and etc and after that you're going to click on publish after you have select uh, the element you're going to install it and get the embedded code or the embed code go ahead here to the section or a blank section that you want to add this specific code to it click on add block click on embed double click on here select embed as not a link but code snippet and then you are going to select embed data paste in your code here and boom so you are going to make it a little bit bigger like that also wider so you are going to preview it in a safe mode and here we have it so you are going to make this a little bit bigger and it is going to be something like that where is it has vanished to the end so here we have the problem with the slider or the scroller or scroller like this and here we have it so that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and for this one it is going to be okay so you only need to set it up right and it will showcase it right away because here we are only on the safe preview mode uh, thank you guys for watching i hope to see you soon on the next one